Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss the design of lag compensator using MATLAB. I hope you could have seen the lead compensator design video and you could have get familiarized with the MATLAB online tool. If you have MATLAB offline any version, it is well and good, you just stick on with that version. If you do not have MATLAB installed in your laptop or PC, then you use this online version. Now, for the lag compensator design problem, I am going to consider the system given here. That is, our plant is 1 by S plus 1, S plus 2, S plus 10. So, first we need to create this transfer function. For that, the command is g equal to tf of, our numerator is 1 divided by, in denominator, you need to multiply all the individual elements and you have to write down the coefficient. I have already done that and these are all the coefficient that is denominator is if you multiply s plus 1 s plus 2 s plus 10 it is s cube plus 13 s square plus 32 s plus 20 okay let me click on enter button and our transfer function is created let us check whether we have multiplied properly by using the command zpk of g zpk stands for zero pole gain and if you pass any transfer function inside it will split both the numerator and denominator factors separately so that we can very easily check it you see the result it is same as our problem that is 1 by s plus 1 s plus 2 s plus 10 the sequence in denominator is varied that but it is not going to affect your uh, process okay. now uh, our objective is to design lag compensator for the problem in such a way that uh, your steady state error is reduced by a factor of 10. If you observe the problem, it is specified that steady state error has to be improved. Improved in the context of steady state error means that it has to be reduced. So, you please keep that in mind. And uh, uh, the compensated system should have the damping ratio of 0 0.174. The first step is to adjust the value of k in the system in such a way that you get the desired damping ratio. Okay, here while creating transfer function i have not specified k explicitly why because root locus by nature is the variation of closer loop pole with the variation of k so whenever we are drawing root locus it means that there exists a value of k and if you vary the value of k from 0 to infinity your closer loop pole location will vary that is sketched as root locus so direct directly we will move to root locus you can use r locus command otherwise you can also directly work with ss for pole let me use SAS4 tool and you pass your transfer function object G inside. Now the tool has opened, it will have three window. First window is your uh, reference to output response, closed loop response. Second window is the root locus and third window is body plot. We are going to design using root locus in this course. So we will stick on to this root locus editor window. The first thing is we need to specify the requirement. In root locus window, click right click in between, between the root locus, you select design requirements and click on new. And uh, in that choose damping ratio. Damping ratio we require is 0 0.174. You enter that value 0 0.174. Once you have entered, click on OK button. Okay, I think there is a problem in web interface 0 0.174. Okay, you press enter, then you click on OK button. Okay, before uh, clicking OK, ensure that whatever value you have entered is available there. Okay, now select the root locus editor tab, and in that you will have zoom button. Select it and uh, drag a box where you need to zoom. Now, our objective is to find the value of k for which your damping ratio is as per the desired value. Now, select the default mode, it is your pointer uh, mode and click on the rose color dot, drag it. Okay, I think in web interface editing is little bit difficult. Okay just to move your window to one side and uh, click on the C available at controllers and fixed blocks. Okay. In case of desktop MATLAB, it will be uh, very 
easy user interface but in web uh, it is little bit difficult so in those case we just uh, manually enter the value of c okay the equal to button here uh, the editor is basically game to enter some high value okay now it has moved into complex region now i think i can uh, select it and drag it you drag the close up dot such that it is exactly at where desired damping ratio i'll increase it little bit 162 okay at 162 it is exactly at uh, the line okay sometimes dragging and dropping the red dot may be little bit difficult in the online mode in such case to directly enter gain in the compensator editor okay now you select the closed loop response now you have the closed loop response we will check the characteristics for that right click that select characteristics peak response so you have a peak response if you click on the blue dot you will get the response you can just select the box and you can move anywhere okay now the peak overshoot is 53 percentage and it corresponds to the damping ratio whatever we have given okay uh, next uh, for uh, lag compensator design we need the steady state value what is the steady state final value you see here it is 0.89 okay. the given reference by default is a unit step reference that means final value is 1 we expect our closed loop system to reach 1 but here what is happening is there is some error instead of 1 it is settling at 0.89 so there is 0.11 error now the requirement is we need to reduce the error by 10 times by a factor of 10 okay for that we are going to add a lag compensator lag compensator is basically a pole zero pair okay in that pole will come first in the left hand side later that zero will come okay how to add the uh, pole you just uh, right click in the compensator editor add a real pole add polar zero in that select a real pole and you place the real pole such that it is very very closer to origin in the left hand side let me choose minus 0 0.09 okay that means it is very very closer to the origin the foot locus may appear little bit changed don't worry we are also going to add a zero right click add polar zero in that add a zero real zero okay in the problem they have asked your steady state error should reduce by 10 times okay now the ratio between zero and pole that represents the uh, amount of extra amount of gain that has that will be provided now what we do is uh, we choose the zero in such a way that it is the amount of times reduction in error required into pole okay for our problem it is 10 uh, the pole location is minus 0 0.09 so minus 0 0.09 into 10 which is minus 0 0.9 now i have added the poles and zero here you can observe that once i have added pole and zero oh i think here is a mistake once again i have modified the pole itself the pole is at minus 0 0.09 and the zero is at minus 0 0.9 sorry for the mistake okay now what happens is uh, root locus may get little bit distorted and if you feel that uh, the distortion is very large what you can do is move the pole much more closer to origin let me choose the pole at 0 0.009 and 0 will be minus 0 0.009 into 10 that is minus 0 0.09 Okay. now you see the root locus remains almost the same the root locus remains almost the same and uh, you have added extra pole and zero the zero is very near to origin and pole is little bit in the left hand side the ratio of zero and pole that gives the additional amount of gain okay. now uh, the close to loop pole locations have once again get modified what you do is you once again drag the host color dot and place it at the desired damping ratio 
that is our design problem now you choose the closed loop response plot and what you can see here is the steady state value is improved to a great extent previously you had 0 0.89 that means you had a error of 0 0.11 now it is 0 0.98 that means the error has been reduced almost by more than 10 times so this is the advantage of lag compensator a lag, lag compensator purpose is to reduce the steady state error in the system and for that we are adding a pole and zero pair almost nearer to the origin pole will be very nearer to origin but in left hand side zero will also be nearer only but the ratio of pole and zero if you uh, zero and pole if you find that will provide some additional amount of gain okay. and uh, once you have designed it uh, the root locus is not exactly same as that of uncompensated but on an average it will almost be same okay uh, before adding lag compensator here you see there is one dominant pole here but because of pole zero cancellation their effect will be nullified but the remaining part you see that will be almost the same i am not using the word exact i am saying that it will be almost the same so after designing lag compensator there may be a slight variation in the transient response but it, it will, its variation will be very almost uh, uh, negligible but in steady state if you observe you can see that error has been reduced to the desired range okay. in the exam you just uh, take the snapshot of your compensated system root locus similarly uncompensated system root locus the response of the system before compensation and response of the system after compensation that you need to submit it in the assignment in Google Classroom. Thank you.